Oh, really, I'll pay you £2,000 to quit your job. I'll give you the cash now, and then we try to make your makeup brand happen here in England. What do you think? My going to be like, you just started this job and you quit it. Today, I'm going to free an entrepreneur stuck in the system. I'm going to be offering people £2,000 cash and free mentorship from me to help set them free and start a business of their own. Would you take £2,000 to quit your job? <laughs> I'm late already. Oh, really? They're going to fire you? It's even worse. I'll pay you guys £2,000 to quit your job. <laughs> Does anybody want to quit their job and start a business of their own? Stop working for the man or the woman. Excuse me, if I paid you £2,000 to quit your job, would you do it? No. Anybody want any help to start a business of their own? Tough crowd today, tough crowd. I'll give you £2,000 to quit your job and start your own business. Very tempting, but no. no. Don't want you. Is this too loud? All right, sorry. I speak softer. Can I pay you two thousand pounds to quit your job? <laughs> yes. What do you do? I'm a princess. Do you have your own business? Uh, yes, I do. What's special about it? Um, that is run by a princess. The search for someone willing to quit was tough, but after many rejections, I'd finally found a promising future entrepreneur. Excuse me, do you have a job right now? Yes, I do. If I paid you £2,000 to quit it and start a business of your own, would you do it? Um, probably not, because <laughs> I don't have the confidence to do that. No. So what would you do? Let's start there. Probably something to do with makeup. So how about, how about really, I'll pay you £2,000 to, to quit your job. I'll give you the cash now. You ring out your boss, you say, look, I'm just going to take a month off, quit now, and then we try to make your makeup brand happen here in England. What do you think? It's a very important decision. What do you, do you want? It is, it is. I think in Dragon's Den they say go to the wall. We need our own version. Like, my mum's gonna be like, you just started this job, you quit it. Do you want to go and have a coffee and come back? Yeah, I'll, I'll go have a coffee. And okay, we're gonna wait here five minutes for you. <laughs> there we go. Ready, steady. <laughs> See you soon. Life-changing moment. In life, you don't want to have any regrets. People only regret what they don't do. Luck comes your way. You don't take advantage of it. The worst is that you have £2,000 and do nothing and have a month off and then get a job. Like, why not try it for a month? I don't understand why people don't try it. We will unplug someone today. We will help someone follow their dream. Three, two, one. On to the next person. Excuse me, mate. Excuse me. Hello. Hey, <laughs> excuse me. Uh, do you have a job? I do, yeah. If I paid you £2,000, would you quit that job and start your own business? Honestly, probably. I'm from South Africa originally. Right. Um, I don't know, something to do with bridging the gap. Because there's a lot of South Africans here, a lot of South African food that South African people want. So I don't know, maybe something to do with that, which I've maybe briefly thought about, but yeah. yeah. So I, I think that's actually a really good idea. Really? Like, let's yeah. do it, shall we? Shall we do it? We'll yeah. do a five minute timer, all right? All right yeah. Starting now. See you in five minutes or not. Yeah. Up to you. Again, let's go. Unplugging people from the system is damn hard. I understand why. The system has got its claws into people. Loading you up with debt and bills and responsibility and making you think that working for yourself is the risk when working for someone else is the risk. They can let you go at any point. Five years from now, after working on their business, they let you go. You own equity in a business. That's how you make sure you have long-term security. And you make sure, that ultimately, you're in control of the people that you work with you're in control of where your business goes, where your life goes, when you get up, when you go to bed, it's up to you. In a minute and 35 seconds, if this guy comes back, we can help him make that true for him. As the clock ticked down to the final 30 seconds, it seemed another promising entrepreneur had gotten cold feet. The team and I were just about to pack up for the day when suddenly... Deal? I'm on time. You're on time, mate. 14 seconds. You were cutting it fine, weren't you? Yeah, no. There's the cash. Let's go. We're doing this, yeah. we're doing this. So now we need to ring your boss and quit. Hello, Blux. Hi, um, it's Mace. Um, I started um, I started a few weeks ago, obviously I was in, I was literally in yesterday, but something's come up um, and I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to kind of, just not, I'm not gonna be able to come in anymore, I'm gonna quit. Something's come up and I can't, I can't kind of let it slide, so I'm gonna go for it. Okay, um, well, I'm gonna have to go for the yeah, yeah, okay. Alright, alright. Thank you. Alright, have a good day, Mum. Bye. Okay. 
I feel the pain on that. That is not easy. I'm so numb. now let's go to my office yeah. and we're going to sit down and go through your business and figure out the steps to make it happen. Okay. So let's do it. Right, let's go. I can't take you enough, man. No, Thank man. So well, let's make sure it works. So let's make sure it works. Yeah, Come on, it. let's do it. After searching for hours, we'd finally found someone to unplug from the system. Mason had quit his job, put his trust in us, and now it was time to make his vision a reality. Yeah. First things first, let's sort the money out, right? So sit there, and it's safer if I just transfer the money to you. So I'm going to ring my accountant right now and ask her to send the money to you. Let's do that. Hello. Hey, Talia. So um, I just sent you some bank details. Um, I'd like you to send £2,000 to that bank account right now if you can. Perfect. I'll do it now. Thank you. So just double check the money's come through before we go any further. <laughs> it's actually, that's crazy, you know, honestly, it's, it's absolutely, yeah. Got it? Man. Oh, honestly, right. man. Thank you, man. I can't, honestly, I'm, I'm going to try my best. I'm to not bullshitting you. No, gonna, I know, it's mad. We're going to make this happen. Yeah, I know, it's mad, man. Let's do it. Get oh, back to business. Come man. on. Right. <laughs> I have 15 steps yeah. to help someone start a business, right? We're going to go through them. Yeah. And by the end of it, you should have all the tools you need to make this business happen. But we're going to support you every step of the way to make it happen, yeah. all right? Yeah. Let's make this business yeah, work out, right? So, yeah. now, ideally, we come up with a name. Are there any names that spring to mind? Not off the top of my head, to be 100% honest. Not really. What's the, the most popular flower in South Africa? Protea. Okay, how about calling it that? Protea. The Protea. Protea platform. Damn, that's quite a nice name. <laughs> Mason then went through his brilliant business idea in detail. He wanted to create a platform that allowed people anywhere in the world to get access to incredible South African products from beers and food to furniture. And we started going through step by step each of the things that needed to be done to make this happen. If you want access to all 15 steps in its entirety, we have made a separate video for you that you can get access to at the end of this video. With a clear business plan laid out, we then came up with his branding. I showed Mason my favorite platform for this, Taylor Brands, which gives you all the tools you need to look professional and stand out. So come and sit with me, let's create the brand. So, why don't you type in the company name? Yeah. Okay. Now in branding, you can do an icon. And I think something like that would be let's, cool. Let's see. I don't know if you can do an animal, um, but for South Africa, the national animal is the Springbok, which is similar to our rugby team as well. Springbok? Yes. Mm, yeah, like that. Okay. I think that's quite cool, because there's a national animal getting the font right and stuff. Yeah. But obviously I can play around with it and stuff as well. Of course, yeah, this is just to just get, a, just a basic get it all going. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, something like that. That's it. <laughs> it's, yeah. Mental. With the brand alive and ready to go, now it was time to secure the domain names. My personal preferred platform for things like this is godaddy.com. Type yeah. in the do domain name. Just remember the shorter the better, but yeah. Jeez, it's available. For, for one P. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's one P. Wow. Okay, make it yours. Yeah. Okay, done. done. Yeah, I got it. All right. Amazing. I can't Great. thank you enough, man. Honestly, no, thank honestly, you so much. Honestly, it's really, really, no, really thank welcome. You so much. Before we left, I set Mason up with one more challenge to post every day for the next 75 days. You can keep up to date with Mason's story by following his Instagram and by clicking subscribe to this channel where we'll keep you informed. I have some exciting news for you, man. Are you ready? 